Does your Nintendo Switch Lite port look something like this? I'm gonna teach you how to fix it. This video is brought to you by our friends at PCBWay. They got a special offer for you. I'll tell you about it in a bit. Our first task after the disassembly is going to be to remove this port. We cannot even perform any testing with the port on there because there are so many lines crisscrossed. So while I'm setting up my equipment, let me throw up the expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you head to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, or if you buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Flood our anchors with Amtec NC559 ASM. And we're going to flood the anchors with the components of low melts. What I use is a bismuth and tin compound, which is basically what makes low melt low melt. And by mixing it into the solder, it turns it into low melt solder. You will probably find stick solder to be easier to use. I have gotten rather used to using this stuff. We will begin by wetting the anchor points and they will wet fairly quickly with the low melt mixed in. I want all four of them wetted. Then I'll concentrate in on the pads and it will drop right off. Nice clean pull. Let's check and make sure we have no bridging along those pads and we did not. Now we need to test our power circuitry. And we're going to start with the M92T36, which is the primary PMIC. Find ourselves a ground. And we're going to test the capacitors that surround the chip. On capacitors, one side of a capacitor will always be ground. The side you do not want to have a pathway to ground is the line going to the chip. And this capacitor right here has two lines going to the chip. In that case, one side will always be ground. You do not want both sides to be ground. So far, so good. Well, let's check our invincible fuse. Our invincible fuse is still being invincible. I'm gonna check our test pads around the port. This should be the only ground. Okay, everything is checking out. So at least the PMIC is fine. Our next step is gonna to be to clean out the port. With wick, you just want to glide. You don't want to put more pressure than what is required to keep the wick on the board. More pressure does not mean more effective. This is not a scrubber. On the pads, I recommend going with the pads. Do not scrub across them. We'll be switching to our micro pencil. I'm replacing a ball of solder on the end of the tip. And we're just going to glide over the pads with the ball of solder. We're not trying to make contact with the actual iron. You'll make incidental contact. Not a big deal. The next task that makes Nintendo Switch lights so much fun is that their ports are different from the standard Nintendo Switch ports. You can order the ports, but in my experience, they have been pools and I don't typically like to trust other people's pools. So what I do is I modify the standard Nintendo Switch port to fit the Nintendo Switch Lite. You can use it as it is and fit the back covering over the port, but if you ever have to remove that back cover again, you will play heck getting it off. The markers I use for grinding it down are these two tabs. If I get it relatively close to even with those two tabs, pretty close to being the same size as the original light port. I will accomplish this with the Dremel and I'll have to do it off screen. I hope this video is being helpful to you in your repair journey. Just a reminder, if this is something beyond what you want to try yourself, I do offer these services. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form and I'll get back to you personally. As you can see, we have grinded it down to relatively the same size and I use this type of grinding wheel tip. And what I basically did was just that until I had it down to the size where I needed it. Now we need to prep our new port. Just like before, we'll place a ball of solder on our tip and we're gonna run that ball over the pins. Again, not trying to make contact with the iron. Might make incidental contact here or there. No big deal if you do. Excellent. Now because of how I heat the port from above, I need to protect these two connectors here. I'm gonna use an old iPhone shield and a copper shim. I'm waiting for visual evidence that the outer pins have wetted. Once I see evidence of that, which we are seeing now, I'm going to press down on the port, remove the heat, and I'm going to wait for visual evidence of those pins to dry. Let's check on our connectors. No damage done. And as before, we'll add a ball of solder to our tip, and we want to add a generous amount to these in this orientation top two anchors. And these bottom two do not take as much. That is excellent feed through. My next task will be to clean this board thoroughly. Let's talk PCB way services, specifically CNC and 3D printing. The capabilities are 
CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, and injection molding. They offer many different materials. PCB Way is offering 10% off CNC and 3D printing. Check them out today. We're ready to do a power test. What I want to see here on PSU channel one on the amp meter, I want to see a quick jump up in amperage and then a jump down. Okay, that looks abnormal because it's hanging. Let's see if it's still hanging on the other side. It can play up with the PSU a bit sometimes. Boy, I would really like to see that go right back down. We're gonna hook up our modified iPhone squid, which we have retrofitted with Nintendo Switch and light battery connectors. Now we'll activate with the OEM charger real quick. In and out. I want to see here is a steady current increase without any hangups. That looks like it's booting to me. So our next step is to put this back in the housing and see if it's going to boot up. And we're back up and running on their battery. So it appears that our port chain solved the issue. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and check out this one. And I'll see you there.